are you looking for a young striker who has a real life for goal? I may have the player for you. Welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow. Let's go. What's happening folks and welcome, like I said, to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM24 series where we look at young talent on Football Manager and we see how they develop the course of their careers, both technical, mental and physical stats, the injury record, the fan transfer fees, the goal and assist record, all of that, so you can guys get the information on that player before you make a purchase. And also if you want to get involved in the in the series, in the comments section down below, leave a name of a player you want featuring, name, position, nationality, club, all that stuff, and I will get round to it as soon as I possibly can. So today's player is Karim Konate, uh, a striker, Ivorian from Red Bull Salzburg, who obviously seem to have a record of being through decent talent and then moving them on. Um, now, in the first season, he has been out, out on loan. He's got his contract no-release clause. His current uh, potential ability is 180 max, which I think I've saved manually to that. It's been in my box for a while, this to do, so I forget if it's a variable one or not. I think it's a variable one. And he's a striker. Straight away, as you can see here on his player traits, nothing there, but he's two-footed, which is what I love to see in a striker, so that's what I like, ideally. Um, straight away, physicality is very very good 70 15 plus on acceleration agility pace and these will go up a lot higher finishing of course 14 very good good technique as well and composure 12 good bravery and determination really good all-round stats here for his, for a 19 year old striker who i think could be really 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 useful um what i would say about him is that i think he's gonna be an out and out striker not a player you can adapt to your position which we, had, which we had in the past. So in case we know how this goes, guys, we do like a, a four-year jump, five or five-year jump, and then we jump in and see how they're going, and come do another four or five years and go back again. So, first jump, let's go. All right, folks, he's now 23 years old, and he's gone to Let's Go Madrid, and we've got a chance for you to look at, but look at the physicality. Like I said, it would increase 50 plus on acceleration, agility, balance, pace, and stamina, and strength. 50 plus again on aggression, anticipation, bravery, decision making, determination, off the ball and work rate and then obviously technical ability, uh, dribbling, finishing, first touch at the highest but then heading, technique are 14 so not terrible. Really strong stats 23 year old. He currently is developing at 170 current ability so not far off his max potential which is good to see. Now uh, injury record, again, not concerning. Um, barely any at all over the course of the three or four years. So, how much did they pay for him? £16 million. Or well, 16.5 um, maximum price, 14.5 initial cost. And he got, in the first season, he got 17 goals, 5 assists for in the Liga. They got 22 and 10. And they got 30 and 8. So, he's really been strong in the goal department. Uh, and that's what I'd say he'd be. He's not a he's an out and out brute goal scorer. He's not gonna be this kind of guy who's gonna be like, oh I'll play inside forward, something like that. He is a brute of a striker who's gonna say, I'm gonna just go powering through people with my pace and my strength, my acceleration, and dribbling ability and just power drive goals and balls back in the net. He's got no development though. No, no changes in player traits or anything like that, which is interesting. Not to say something that's the bad thing because clearly he's scoring goals, but not no, I think everyone's like, no, he's perfect, mate. Keep doing what he's doing. Uh, I like him. For the fee that he's paid, he's absolutely brilliant. If he keeps his record up, he might get record up of goals. He might even get 10 out of 10 from me because low fee, scores goals, good physical, good technical. You can't fault him at this point. Um, now, obviously, we don't go into detail too much on the contract information at this point in the reviews because every save is different. He might go somewhere else in your save. Um, this is the 180 version of him. Um, well, 170 right now, but 180 potential rating of him. So bear that in mind as well. Um, but I for goal in the Liga, and I dare say it's going to be a pain to get out of there if you get for any other club trying to sign him. Let's continue. Right, guys, he's 27 years old. He's still at Let's Go Madrid. And the stats are relatively stay the same on the technical, mental, and physical attributes here. Maybe a slight increase here and there on some of these, but nothing that's 
dramatically different at this point in my personal opinion but looking at this guy he looks an absolute absolute monster of a striker now injury record uh, still is not bad cold and the flu were the longest ones really other than the pulled card muscle in 2025 um so not bad at all that's not terrible now obviously i'm anticipating high goal return here still so 22 and 10 30 and 8 22 and 7 21 and 8 17 and 7 and then 35 and 8 absolutely phenomenal striker his current ability i'm assuming 180 right now yeah 180 this is the maximum best version of him best version of him insane attacking ability puts the ball in the back of the net you cannot ask for more than that interest in him right now from psg i highly doubt he's going to be moving there because i don't think they can afford him um just don't see why he want to leave um let's go Madrid. he's scoring goals for fun at the moment um obviously this is the best version of him you can get obviously he may even get even better with your own personal training but what i like about this guy is that he's not complicated other than the obvious ones that like the physicality and the technical ability, he ain't complicated. You know exactly where to play him. He's two-footed, stick him up front. He's got strength, he's got the pace, he's got the acceleration, he's got the finishing, he's got the mental stats. He's going to go, give me the ball, either foot, I'll score. And that's what we've got. So, because obviously, I don't want to go, to, I don't like going too far in these reviews because they get a drop off in stats. We're going to do three more years and just see how those stats for goal return continue or not. Let's find out. No surprise, guys. He continued at Atletico Madrid for another three years. PFG couldn't afford him or he didn't want to leave. Again, 19 finishing. I think that's the highest finishing I've seen on a, on a striker. Absolutely stunning. Um, injury record, I, I don't anticipate a problem here. Three months injured, broken foot. That's not bad at all. Um, obviously, not ideal, but it's not, it's not bad. So, Goten, 21 and 8, then 17 and 7, 35 and 8. Then he got 27 and 4, 20 and 5, and 23. So, he gets a goal over the game pushes 30 goal a season occasionally as well that higher range the fee is cheap 16.5 that's insane obviously you might not get lucky with that you might get a better one you might get unlucky and get a worse one but that is insane and i'm giving 10 out of 10 i don't see a negative side to this guy uh at, the, at his best 30 goal a season great technical stats for that good mentals insane physical ability apart from jumping reach and not overly expensive i don't see anything wrong with him other than the only thing I say is that if you don't, if you get the 180 version of him and you don't get him early on and he goes somewhere else and starts kick, and kicking on, then you're asking for like trouble. You're not going to go to get him, so that's not a problem. But it's not worth giving him a, a non 10 rating because I think he is absolutely fantastic and not a striker I was, I was aware of on FN24, um, which I am now. Um, so you guys, um, we thoughts on Kanate? Have you signed him in your say as well? If you have, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And on the screen right now, potentially is going to be nothing. I'm going to change the ending a little bit so you get the outro for my videos as well. So you can put the video on screen. I need to put something on the screen for a new different video and trying different things to improve the content and link the content together. So yeah, don't forget guys, subscribe to the channel. See you later guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.